Right, I'm just completing on this uh, Rohan Royal Guard shield, which the center of which I started a while back. There's a separate video on that, on the detailed uh, horse thing. But I've got all my parts now, and I've got them all in, in position. Um, I've got this fantastic overlay, so you can really see where everything's supposed to go and all the correct relationships. I had a lot of trouble with this braid as well, getting that to the right scale. It's actually had to be rescaled twice in total. Um, then I've got to uh, just keep everything separate from this actual back uh, plate. The shield itself is just a lump of wood, uh, 740 millimeters, we are informed. So, um, it's just a question of tidying up. Oh yeah, I've got the back as well, which is uh, is quite important. It's got this um, wonderful handle business, which gets uh, tied down or screwed down to the base. There's various other bits of leather and whatnot. But, uh, oh yes, this, this gap, this needs to be open, this dome here, so um, that's something I should do now, which I forgot to do before. Let me see this sphere. Let's just bring it down the bottom for ease. And this thing, okay, now... Yeah, I need to, I can just see them together. You see, this is the top plate. It's got its own dome, right, okay. On top of which that sits, okay. Um, this dome and that dome they look pretty tight, but I'll worry about that in a minute. What I want to do is cut out this back plate from the front. Okay, fair enough. Duplicate that. Check my Dynamesh. Group as sub. Bring that down and redyne a mesh. That should take out that central part and give me a ring. Oh, come on, I've had a bit of trouble with dyne mesh on this model in the final stages. I am running at uh, 100 million vertices so that might have something to do with it I'm not sure it's executing on some of them but some of them it's really not happy and the solution seems to have been redynameshing both objects before commencing. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to work. Oh, no. Oh, it's doing an autosave. That's encouraging. Which also means I can go back to where I was. Yeah. Done. Right, now this piece in the middle is now floating, so I need to split it off and get rid. Please, these bloody screensavers. It's all very impressive, but uh, gets in the way. Right, now why do I still have this thing? Oh yes, now I've, I can see further deeper into my dome 
I need to perform the same kind of operation on the uh, top dome by removing the back part. So I'm going to bring my top dome down and uh, the back part down. Same thing for the dome on the front and um, that means this ring should now merge down with the dome at the front because they are working together. 17 million, for goodness sake. Let me see what that turns out. 7 million, fair enough. Now at this point I want to just slightly increase the size of this object so that it will always fit. And to do that I'm going to inflate um, a duplicate, obviously. And the one that I'm going to use, uh, I'll inflate that by some amount. Let me see how much do I need. Let's do it with transparency on. Um, so yeah, it's it's hard to see, but the line is in here. You see that line. Oops, if I you see how that line there, that shell, it's creating an it's creating a gap inside. Um, which is precisely what I want. <clears throat> Take off a bit of volume on the inside. Uh, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead um dynamesh it and I'm going to Cut that out of my front dome. Come on. It's a very large file we've got going here. Okay. So that will take that out. And um, we will be very close to completion. So now what I have is, again, two-part object, which I need to split away the inside and delete. So now I've got my top dome and my bottom inside dome which is where the hand grip goes that's all great um, I've got my uh, shield itself okay I've got my handle on the back lovely I've got four of these babies which all have now a one millimeter gap for their um, leather. They get a leather uh, coating. Oh, where's the gap on the front? It's like there's only a gap on the back. And um, that's mysterious. Uh, why would that be? Hmm. 
Let me just have a look. There's a decent gap, but it's why would it only have been on one side? I used an inflated. Yeah, there's a gap on both sides. Yeah, there's a gap of a milli of a millimeter on both sides. Satisfied. I'm going to uh, cut that out um, from the front dome. So merge down, redyne a mesh, and uh, I'll have a gap, enough of a gap that it's not, it's not going to be hard to fit. That's what was important when you have two parts which are occupying the same space. See now there's a, a nice gap. You know, because they don't need to be completely flush. Um, now this part needs to be split off into two, and I can lose the inside dome. This thing. This is not used. Yes, this is used this is used. So yeah, I've got my outside dome and my inside dome. Now all these parts at the front, some of them have to join these four things. These blocks have to join. So let me just check what's going on there. Yeah, there's a, there's a new height, a lower height, um, yeah, let me just check those. Uh, it's supposed to be four and six. Um, so let me just get, let me get something to measure. Um, if I make this block uh, 0.4, where's it gone? Yeah, if I make this block 0.1. Zero or that's four millimeters. So that's not far off. Um, what about the six point zero six? Um, that's not far off. So let me just bring that up for the minute. Um, oh, it's it's not got enough thickness there. And if I say this is four. And uh, place that on the surface. Now, oh god, everything has to come up for this one. Um, okay, that's four. Now the blocks, the 
the blocks. I think I can just merge those in the meantime. Four blocks, four mil. I want to get this pretty accurate because um, it involves a join between the two objects. So I don't want it to be too ugly. Um, right. <clears throat> the other stuff uh, is this big starburst business. Oh, and these pins, but I think they're pretty good. Right, the starburst thing, that's critical. That height. Where's my pin, my uh, pivot? Okay, this height is also critical because it joins just here. Okay, now um, I have to make sure I have the depth. Okay, I have the depth, but not on the dome for some reason. The dome thing. Is it needs to just come down a touch and then I'm gonna to have to do a boolean against that and then I think we're done so if I just join I, I should join all the parts that I want to join here those come down uh, those come down uh, some of those come down. Some of those, yeah. This is going to be weird. Um, and this ring, the famous braid, it comes down. Okay, so I've got those parts. I'm just going to pull this um, back plate thing away now. Back sphere can get rid of you. Okay, so yeah, this is the basic story at the front. Some of those parts are going to join. I could just join everything and then split them off at the end. But I want to save as much trouble with Dynamesh as possible, so I think what I'll do is maybe just try and do a quick select on those, um, the ones that I want. So it's Option, Shift, and try and capture them with the Move tool. It generally works pretty well. Okay. Um, I believe those are the ones that are joined. So I'm going to split those. And I'm going to keep that separate, all that stuff. Okay, so these are the parts that I want to join. Let me do it. All this is the correct scale, by the way. It's um the actual board is 740 millimeters. I'm gonna, I've been working at this size. Okay, now we've got a 20 million object that we need to dynamesh. Let's see how well we can preserve. Just check there's no hidden topology. Right, let's see how well we can preserve all this business which I spent so long creating the braid work. Okay, I've got seven and a half million and I've got a great level of preservation here. It's looking fantastic. Okay, I'm really happy with that. Um, 
so that means I can go ahead and export everything. I think I'm finally down to, well, I've got two pieces on the back and I've got uh, all my business at the front. Those, 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 and these. I think we're done. I can export and uh, call it a day. Rather nice. The Rohan Royal Guard Shield to a high level of accuracy. Thank you.